Hello and welcome to Gengar and Mimikyu Tag Team GX. So, what do you guys do? Well, for two psychic energies, Poltergeist. Your opponent reveals their hand, and this attack does 50 damage for every trainer card in their hand. But what if they've thinned their hand? Well, we now use Horror House GX. For one psychic energy, your opponent can't play any cards in their hand next turn. But if you've got an extra energy on there, they have to draw until they've got seven. Still not able to play those cards next turn, so we can get a big attack off on the following turn. Very nice indeed. But if they want to thin their hand of item cards, Garboda comes to feast. He loves item cards in the discard pile. In fact, he does 20 damage for everyone that's there in your opponent's discard pile. So if your opponent wants to thin their item cards, Garboda comes in and hits hard, and he's a one prize card attacker. Real nice indeed. The only other attacker we really have in this deck is Giratina. He's here because he hits for 130, a crucial number, and he's a one prize card attacker with 130 HP. And he can reset himself from the discard pile whenever you need him. So he's really good as well. To help us get rolling, we're using a Malamar Psychic Recharge to get those energies into play throughout the game, to get those three energy cards onto Giratina really quickly. And the other Pokemon we've got in play is a couple of Tappy Lele to get ourselves set up, and a Pseudo Wudo to restrict our opponent's bench. So that's the Pokemon. The rest here is about getting ourselves set up and protecting the Gengar and Mimikis wherever we can. So we've got a couple of max potions and an Ace of Roller to be able to, you know, heal or pull our um, Gengar and Mimikyu up from the bench. When we have a power pad to recycle the Ace of Roller and whatever other supporters we need to recycle. We've got our draw supporter line and we've got our Switch and Guzma cards as well. So that's the deck. Shall we begin? I think we shall. Hello, Randy Marsh, FP. And welcome to Gengar Mimikyu. Ditto down. So that's probably more looking to be a Garboda in this match now. That's how we'll play it. And we're playing a Metagross deck. Good starting hand. Happy with that. And I think we use the Mysterious Treasure to get rid of the energy at this stage. We'll go and get me an Inkane, maybe a Gengar and Mimikyu as well, just so I've got options. I like having options. Yep, we'll draw a card here. Although, that might change to get rid of the Giratina. The end change is to get rid of the Giratina. Just because that will be blocking up my hand quite badly. So we'll get rid of the Giratina here. We'll go and get an Inkay down. Uh, we got two Malamars, that's alright. We got two Garboders, that's alright. So we'll go and get an Inkay down for me. Don't know what else I really want here. Probably a Pseudo Widow, just to limit my opponent's options on the bench. And then we'll chuck the Psychic Energy down on the Gengar and Mimikyu at this stage. Well, Lily. Good, did get another Psychic Energy. Did not get the Garboda that I was looking for. Don't think I want to chuck the Trubbish down at this stage. Just because I don't want him to realise that I am playing a... Garboda deck with the Gengar and Mimikyu. So we'll see what my opponent does. It is an Ultra Macros on a main build. But he needs Inkay and Malamars, so he can't overfill his bench here. So I'm assuming this is to go and get two Inkays. No, two Beldums. Alright, this is a very different build. I was not expecting this. I think the Pseudo Widow could be clutch here to limit his bench space. 
I think that could be quite important for me. So nothing really hit the discard. Do I try and lock him up at this stage? Or do I just keep refreshing the hand? Keep in mind, Garboda's not going to do anything. And if I go for the lockup play, it does mean that I'm bricking myself as well and I'm bricking him. And leaving the Ultra Necrozma that's a risk sitting on the bench. But if we go after this Ultra Necrozma. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to go after this Ultra Necrozma right here. We'll go with the Gengar and Mimikyu. I think we'll look at his hand first. Let's look at his hand, because if he's got lovely trainer cards, so he's only got one in hand, so we're going with the GX attack. I like that move, I like that move. I think we'll play a Trubbish down now, and we will use Horror House GX. And hopefully he can build those trainer cards into his hand. Without being able to play anything. <laughs> and I can take out this Necrozma GX next turn. That's the plan. And then I'm starting to try and power up a Garboda. That's the next play. And get him stuck in that catch 22. Do I play item cards or do I not? So we'll chuck the spell tag onto the Trubbish here. We'll chuck an NG onto the Trubbish. We are going to Cynthia for a new hand. I need more cards. Particularly looking for the Garboda. Did not get the Garboda. Got to draw spot to try and look for it in the next play as well. Let's have a look what he's got. I should have done this first, actually. He's do he does have three, so and I only needed two. So that is perfectly fine by me. So he does end, has the item retrieval, oh, energy retrieval, has a rare candy, has the altar of the moon. Couple of prize cards there, field blower and nest ball joins the ranks. Am looking for Garboda, or a way to get Garboda. That's what I need here. I need that pretty quickly. Surprise this, like, I'm surprised I haven't seen any in case. I think taking down that uh, Necrozma there is going to hurt him quite badly. And he's filled his bench again. So now he is in a bit of that catch-22. The more item cards he plays, the more it helps my Garboda. But the more item cards he holds, the more it helps my Gengar and Mimikyu. Just got to be careful that my Gengar and Mimikyu does not get KO'd. That is important. Alright, Professor Kikui. To increase the power of this by 20, so this is going to be hitting for 120 here. And he is avoiding playing um, item cards. So he's putting me in a bit of the catch 22 now. Of how I play this, because I'd need to one shot him. He would need to have four item cards he had three last time assuming he probably still has three need to find the full potion uh, the full potion max potion here 
Uh, let's field blower away. Do I want to retreat? I mean, I can go and get an Acer roll of the Tapu Lele. That is a play I could use. Let's get rid of the stadium for now. But the downside of that is I fill up my bench completely. And I don't have an attacker. But I don't really have an attacker anyway. I think we have to get rid of this hand, largely. Is there anything I want? Let's have a look at my deck and see if there's anything that I want here. So I've got an Inke or a Tapu Lele. So the answer is a new. Do I have Max Potion sitting in here? So I've got the Acerola sitting in here. I have one Max Potion. Unlikely to pull into it. All right. So options. I could Acer roll of this out, like I said, and go. I think the Acer roller just isn't a play that works for me here. So let's go Gengar and Mimikyu down. We're going to sightsee her away. Everything by the switch, just so I've got options there as well. So sight so see her away, everything but the switch. Do I have a way to get into the gut boat? I didn't get into the uh, max potion I was hoping for. Start setting up this Gengar and Mimikyu. That's what we do. I actually think we sacrifice instead. Sacrifice the ditto. Uh, sacrifice the Trubbish. Sacrifice the Trubbish. And we leave it there just to try and protect the Gengar and Mimikyu. Don't have draw support, so that's a bit of an issue. What do I have in this discard? So, not a lot that can help me. So, right now we're going to stomp off. Just get rid of his top card and see what my opponent has in store. Go on a bit defensive. So definitely add the Psychic Engine to try and hit into my Gengar Mimikyu. He's going to play the Item Retrieval here. Ah, uh, item retrieval, energy retrieval. Starts loading up an extra item into there. Takes care of the Trubbish. And I think we just put them all on this Ultra Necrozma right now. Because I need to bring him within three. I think the play here... I have a way to get Tapu Lele down, don't I? Yeah, so we'll go with this Gengar Mimikyu up front. Heh, <laughs> there's the Garboda. Is there anything in this card I really desperately want to get back? Maybe the Guzma? I don't think we worry about the rescue stretcher here, so we will go get rid of the rescue stretcher. Go get the Tapu Lele. And we are after that Lily that I do have. Chuck the power pad in here. We will go and put that Guzma back and the Cynthia back. We'll Tapu Lele down here. Would not mind finding a way into that max potion that I do have. So we do want the lily. Let's 
Do need another energy card as well. That's really, really important. Good, got another energy card. <laughs> Did not get into the max potion. So our search for the max potion continues. We'll chuck the spell tag onto you. And we'll use Poltergeist. We'll have a look to see what my opponent's hand is at. It's got one, two. A lot of NGs, rare candy. No Guzmas or anything, so that's good at this stage. Even the Acer Roller. Top decking Acer Roller is fine by me now. Although an Ace Roller and a Max Potion is what I'm looking for. So, obviously the Max Potion in this particular turn. So we'll sit there here. We do have the Max Potion. Still don't have any uh, Malamars. We go with this Gengar and Mimikyu on the Max Potion at this stage. Chuck the old... I uh, will leave the spell tag at the moment. I don't see him getting the KO here. We use our Poltergeist. All I need is one. And he certainly has it there for me. Excellent. Two more prize cards. There's the other max potion, so that's good. And he should not be able to attack this turn. I've taken a long time playing this hand this team. New deck, learning how to play. So we got the Metagross finally up. So he is going to be able to attack this turn. Let's correct that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. But there's plenty of item cards starting to fill this. So one, two, three, four. Well, there's four item cards filling it. So I'm gonna start chipping away into that Ultra Necrozma. He needs a choice band. He got the choice band. He needs something else to power it up actually. Because that's hitting for 120, uh, 130. Alright, so. <laughs> the Gengar Mimikyu is hanging on by the skin of his teeth. Got the Acer Roller in hand, and it's not too late to see you. Let me tell you that. Uh, we will get a Psyche Energy onto the Gengar Mimikyu. I'm thinking he won't have too much in the way of item cards in his hand. So we shall Acer Roll the Gengar Mimikyu, chuck the Garboda out there, start chipping away with Garboda instead. Chuck the Garboda here. And... Is there any better for playing another Gengar Mimikyu right now? No. So we'll Trash Launch. Start chipping away at this Ultra Necrozma. Just need two more prize cards to take this. It's probably a benefit to playing the Cynthia though. Although I ace a roll it, so I couldn't. The extra steel energy is interesting. I mean, that doesn't help him power up his attack. He's retreating. Okay. Alright, so we got the Metagross up there. So he's going to try and protect that with everything he's got. And he's going to go and get five cards. Any five that he wants. He's got to be careful here because if there are lots of trainers, it could spell the end of the game. I only need three trainers in his hand. Because the play here is to Guzma and bring back the Ultra Necrozma to the front line. So 
So if you bring back three trainer cards, it's potentially over. Any benefit to another NK down? No. Any benefit to another Gengar and Mimikyu? Potentially. Because then I can max potion later. Yeah, so we'll chuck another one down. Why not? And we'll Psychic Recharge this one. And then we shall... Chuck a uh, Psychic Energy on this one. And right now... We're going to go with some Guzma action. Bring this Gengar and Mimikyu up. And if you pulled in item cards, you are in a lot of trouble. So let's see what you pulled in. Ah, that's all I need. Game over. Game over. Good game. I love that. Catch 22. Get yourself set up. <laughs> but take lots of trainer cards and this game. Hello, Ilzi, and welcome to Gengar and Mimikyu. And what are we playing today for you? All right, Gengar and Mimikyu up front. Give him two extra cards, which isn't good. Yep. Guard chomp deck. That's what I thought. I see this box. It's a guard chomp deck. Couple of item cards there. That could be useful. All right, let's see how we fare against Garchomp. The upside is he's probably going to be burning a lot of item cards. Jirachi in a Garchomp deck. That's new. That's new. Upgraded Garchomp deck. Interested to see what upgrades you've made. So we need to Lucario down. He also needs an energy card if he wants to attack next turn. It's interesting that he's gone the escape board onto the Gibble. That seems a little bit of a waste. Alright, so what do I prioritise here? I think we just go and get a Trubbish down and we also go and get the NK down. Although, do we trick him a little bit and go and get the Ditto down so he hopefully doesn't know the Trubbish is coming? I think that's a, that's a good way to play. So we'll get something into the discard. Although, I was... The Ditto is good, actually, because I can go either way because I need draw support. Just realised that. So this needs to be for a Tapu Lele instead. I do think Lavender Town's probably going to have to go on here. As much as I don't really want to play the stadium right now. Just to maximise the pulls. Because this is a draw of four. Lavender Town, Lavender Town down means I can draw five. And I might as well take advantage to see what my opponent's got. He's got, ooh, the rare candy and two Garchomps. It's unfortunate. All right, uh, he is going to have a Garchomp in play next turn. Chuck the uh, energy down on Gengar and Mimikyu. We're going to pull a six. Decent pull, NK down. That's what I'd like. I think we hold on this for this particular turn. Yeah, that's what we do here. So right now I'm happy. We'll leave it at that. So he's able to get good value with the Jirachi this time as well. Potentially get himself into a draw supporter. He's not going to be attacking this turn. 
Is this still a Lucario build? I'm assuming it is. Why wouldn't you be playing Lucario? Very interested to see what happens here indeed. So I'm thinking I don't mind him loading up on item cards, nor do I mind seeing item cards hit the discard. So there's four in the discard right now, so that's good. Yep, there's the Brooklet Hill, that's what I was worried about. There's the Rayuli down. Is he able to get an NG down? Because if he's not able to get the NG down, he's still not attacking next turn. Which is good. And while he's not attacking next turn, I'm not as worried. I need to get ahead in this matchup. That's what I feel. And healing is going to be pretty crucial as well. Especially while he's able to... Yeah. So, can I take advantage of this? Fighting water? No. I could easily. So this mysterious treasure is for the Malamar. I am bricked in terms of draw support. I mean, I could start hitting him with Gaboda. I think we hit him with a Gengar and Mimikyu at this stage. I mean, that seems pretty good to me. So we'll chuck the Gengar, uh, the other one here. See if we can force out a Field Blower. Don't want the other Gengar and Mimikyu down right now. We shall Psychic Recharge here. Go and get a Psychic Engie. I mean, the reality is I need two trainer cards in his hand. I'd love to know whether it's there. I mean, there's not enough item cards here anyway. There's only four, which with the resistance won't get the KOs. So what we do here is we go with the Poltergeist. And at least I get to have a look at his hand. And yes, there's two trainer cards. There's three. Excellent. A couple of Garchomps, a couple of Guzmas, a Brooklyn Hill. But he's not attacking this turn, so that's really good for me. Another spell tag. And the longer he goes energy dry, the better it is for me. He's getting his uh, Jirachi back. Another item hits the discard. That sounds pretty good to me. Be interesting to see whether he goes to the Jirachi and then Guzma to the Vulpix, maybe? So he can go and get himself set up better. Or is he going to just refresh the hand? That might be what he's doing because he needs to find NGs. Because otherwise he's just delaying his attack even longer. The longer he takes to get himself going, the worse he is. Yep, so he's able to attack next turn. Unless I decide to go with a Horror House move. Which could be something I do, but he is able to set up in the background while that is happening. It's not going to be one shot in the Gengar Mimikyu. And I can heal up the Gengar Mimikyu after this quite nicely. He would be smartest to go after the engine. Need draw support. Need draw support. That's what I do need. I mean, the Horror House might be just a delay here. Got draw support. And we are going to use it. So we'll shuffle the hand into the deck. I do think I need to go and get myself another Malamar set up because I need the engine still. So I think that's pretty important. Although I don't have any other in case. Alright. 
Smothering K is prized. Go and get a Trubbish. So the thing is, he's getting perfect draws right now. To do whatever he likes. Do I block him for a turn? And then see if I can get after that Garchomp. That's what we do. How many items in the discard? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm only hitting for a hundred. So I'd need to be able to hit in somehow with the Gengar and Mimic you. But if I chuck the Psychic Engie onto the Tapu Lele, I can do that play. That's what we're doing. And we are going to Psychic Recharge here. I'm going to put this onto the Trubbish. And this is how we're going to play it. So we're going to go with the Horror House, so we can't play anything this particular turn from his hand. Buys me a turn, and what I now do is I go after that Garchomp to try and buy me another turn and get myself two prize cards up. Keep in mind, if he pulls a trainer card in, that's good for me. I need, I'd like to top deck a Guzma rather than have to play the Tapu Lele for it. That's what I'd like to do. That'd be a clutch top deck. Alright, so going after the Garchomp here, that's what's important. So, we will go Spell Tag onto this Trubbish here. And... Yeah, right now, we are just Tappy Lay laying down. We'll go and get a Guzma out. Also, I didn't top deck one like I was hoping. And we'll go and Guzma up the Garchomp. Send the Tappy Lay Lay down. Then we'll retreat out with the Tappy Lay Lay. And then we will Psychic Recharge, and we'll chuck that Psychic Energy onto the Tapu Lele. And then we'll go with the Poltergeist. See what he's got. So he does have enough. He's got a Guzma in hand as well, just so I'm aware. Got the Garchomp to evolve. Alright. Let's see what he goes for. So at the moment, he had five trainer in, uh, cards in his hand. So that puts four that I can guarantee. Do you need to be able to heal up this Gengar and Mimikyu? And deny him prize cards. So three that I can guarantee. Still three that I can guarantee, so that's good. Getting the other Garchomp. And he still needs... I mean, he could quick dive, but I'm not so worried about that. I'm worried about the... Obviously, you know, the Royal Blades. Rockruff! Ah, that could be bad. Wasn't expecting that one. It's going to judge me. All right, so I can't guarantee anything that's in his air now. How many item cards in his discard? One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> I 
All right, so five item cards in his discard. Was there five? I'll check in a moment. So there's no guarantee what he's got sitting there now. That is unfortunate. What I can do... In fact, there is a guarantee. Let's go and have a look. What have you got here? Nice, there is two, three, so I can get a KO on that Garchomp if I could get to it, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to. Back in the last one Garchomp strike. I do think I need to save it because if my engine goes, although... Let's use this. I feel like I don't need the rescue stretcher for the moment. Let's go and get the other Garboda. And we'll Cynthia here. Got the max potions. So that's good. Like I said though, him hitting my... Uh, the best thing he could probably do... Is hit my engine. I only have the one Melamar up there really concerns me. But let's get rid of this Jirachi. Our stadium is gone next turn. It's unfortunate. But I'm halfway through these prize cards. So he's got free retreat on this, so he's I'm assuming he's gonna be able to attack here. Which means I'm probably looking at a retreat out, get the Garboda in. Unless he's going with the Guzman, because I know he's got that in hand. The best thing he could do is Guzman go after the Malamar. It's the best thing he could probably do. Oh, a power pad hits the, uh, hits the discard. Plenty of items there, just feed up my Garboda. Go by my Garboda loves it. Go on the Lily. He's I can't actually do that. So he's going with the beacon. Interesting. If only I had another Guzma. Top deck of Guzma. It could be clutch, because then I can stop him attacking next turn as well. With the Vulpix in play. Chucking the Choice Pen down just to get rid of the trainer cards. So once again, it's a risk for me to attack the Lycan Rock, so that's good for him. Not good for me. Damn, did not get what I was hoping for. He does have the Guzma in hand. Can guarantee that. I'm actually thinking what I do here is retreat out and force him to use the Guzma. Let's do that. Let's do that. So we'll retreat out, we'll force him to use the Guzma. So we'll Psychic Recharge now. If he wants to go after the Gengar and Malamar, that is. Chuck the other NG on there. In fact, I probably should have held that when I think about it. I'll to the moon. Might hold it for a turn because he's not getting value for the moment. So we use the trash launch. Take out this Vulpix. And two prize cards to go. Oh, got the NK. That is clutch. So if he goes after the, en um, the engine, I can start getting another NK down. So that's good. If he goes after the Garboda, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Would love to know what is in his hand. So the things I can guarantee is there's a Guzma. That's about it. Can't really guarantee what other trainer cards are there. And him using that rare candy definitely reduces one. 
Same as the Cynthia. It does pull six, though. So the question now is, where do I... A, hey, where do I spread this damage? I think the damage is best spread to... Oh, who's he want to pull up? Is he going to pull up anyone? Seems a little bit of a waste if he doesn't. Gonna go for the Tappy Lele to get the two prize cards. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that because right now, let's just assess the field. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not oh yeah, I'm one shotting easily. Heh, the Tappy Lele, that does not worry me at all. Uh Gaboda, you're up. Because I've got enough time here and I've got a Guzma in hand. Got everything in hand that I could actually want. Might chuck an Inkay down. Might. Mm, yeah, why not? We'll chuck an Inkay down. And how many Psychic Engies are in here? Three. So we will definitely Psychic Recharge here. And we will chuck a Energy onto the Inkay. In fact, I should probably actually put it onto the Malamar. Ah, I've got the Guzma in hand anyway, so that doesn't matter. We'll trash a large. And he's only got one attacker. And that attacker is the Garchomp. Oh, I wasn't even thinking, actually. I could have Guzma up the Lucario. Ah, the Lu Lucario, the Lycanroc. Ah, well. I'm in a pretty good position here. So he's able to get the uh, KO on the Garboda. And the other Garboda is able to come in and just KO it back. So this is game. I don't see him getting out of this. Certainly a slow game, but yep, yeah, this is game. I don't see what you've got to get yourself out of this. He is feeding my Garbodor even more. Alright. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Just put them all on this guy. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> it actually doesn't matter. There we go. Is he still here? <laughs> He may have hit the concede button. Ah, it looks like he's still here. Alright. That is game. Trash launch. And it's done. Good game. Good game. Interesting build. Updating for team up. Interesting build. Good game. And it is time to rate this deck. So, what do I think? Well, starting with damage, the Poltergeist attack here, it can one-shot anything in the game. Easy, if your opponent is playing lots of trainer cards and has them in their hand. But, if they're playing lots of item cards and thin them all to that uh, discard pile, then Garboda can easily one-shot anything in the game, which is great. So, damage here, really good, one-shot potential but is reliant on the opponent playing lots of trainer cards. So because of that, it's a 9 out of 10. How about the defense? Well, the defense here is so-and-so. The Garboda's HP is horrible, 120, easy to one-shot in the current format, so they're going down pretty quickly. The Giratina, 130 is a little bit better, but yeah, it's still easily one-shotted in the current format. And the Gengar and Mimikyu's 240, that sounds really good, but he gives up three prize cards if he goes down. So that's not great either, especially since he is on the low end of the HP with the tag team Pokemon. So we've got some max potions to try and keep our uh, Gengar and Mimikyu's alive. Got an Ace of Roller to pull in when we need to improve that defense. But the numbers here aren't great for the defense side of things so it's a 7 out of 10 for me how about reliability well this deck gets rolling really easy the tappy leleys are great for setup uh the you know we've got plenty of draw supporters we've got plenty of options here 
I had no problem getting this deck set up and rolling, but it relies on the opponent having trainer cards. And I came up against a new Gyarados deck where there was not many trainer cards and yeah, we got blown out of the water straight away. So it is relying unfortunately on your opponent running lots of trainer cards which can be a bit of an issue. So because of that, I'm giving the reliability here an 8 out of 10. That trainer card shouldn't be too much of an issue most of the time, but it has that potential. So overall, what do I think? Well, I think Gengar and Mimikyu can hit really hard and be a lot of fun to play, but it can also be controlled and disrupted from your opponent a little bit too easily for my liking. So because of that, for me, it's an 8 out of 10.